Select 50 Fund Focus. With me in the studio today is Nick Train, manager of the Lindsay Train UK Equity Fund. Nick, very good to see you. Afternoon to you. Now, what attributes do you look for in a stock? Well, Claire, I hope that you and your viewers won't think I'm playing word games with you. But actually, truthfully, we don't look for attributes in stocks or shares. What we really passionately care for, though, are the attributes of the underlying companies that we're invested in. So I think what I'm saying is that for us, investing isn't about owning a piece of paper or some sort of electronic signal on a screen in front of us. It's actually owning a share, having part ownership in a company. And that's a very different mindset, thinking I own part of a business from thinking about I own a share in something. Our biggest holding in the UK fund, the Linsell Train UK fund, our biggest holding today is Diageo. And truthfully, I can't really tell you anything very useful about Diageo's shares. I don't know whether they're going to go up or down over the next you know, week or six months or 12 months. And in a way, I don't really care. What I can tell you about Diageo, though, is that Diageo owns Johnny Walker, Guinness, Captain Morgan, Tanqueray, and whatever else you're going to be drinking this evening. And it's those brands that make up what's so unique and valuable about Diageo as a company rather than a share price. It's those characteristics of the business that makes money for shareholders over time. So that's what we're focused on. So really, as you say, it's all about ownership of the business. Now, people have called you the king of buy and hold. Do you think that's fair? I know where they're coming from, but uh, Michael Linsell and I, you know, the founding partners at Linsell Train, we wouldn't want to be called kings of anything, truthfully. You know, we are just as fallible, just as prone to make mistakes as anybody else. We've had a period of time in the sun. You know, I'm sure at some point we'll have a period of time not in the sun. So uh, we don't want to be crowned as anything. But I guess, uh, as I say, I know what you mean. And... Um, People like you uh, and other consultants, uh, other, other consultants do often say to us that perhaps the most distinctive thing about Linsell Train is how little of what we say we do, we actually do. Um, by which I mean, well, you've said buy and hold. Um, absolutely, we do very little in comparison to many other investors. Our levels of portfolio turnover are probably probably exceptionally low by the standards of uh, most of the other people most of the other people out there two reasons for that um, first there is no doubt all of the studies all of the statistics prove it higher levels of portfolio turnover of activity just rack up costs and keeping as low cost a, a strategy as possible definitely we think that that gives us uh, that gives us an inherent uh, an inherent advantage but the other thing is you know just simply coming back to those earlier comments about owning shares in a business our v feeling is if you own a piece of a wonderful company and we think every company that we're invested in is a fantastic business why would you sell why would you almost ever sell so absolutely it's buying and holding what we think are terrific businesses and nick perhaps looking to the future now how optimistic are you about uk equities hmm I'll, I'll tell you what i say about this i'll tell you what i say about this because no one knows the future um but i think about my own savings you know what what, what investments i have in the stock markets and what I feel most strongly about my own savings is that I would far, far rather that my savings were being looked after, listen to me, by a stupid optimist rather than a smart pessimist. Now, I might just take that back. Maybe, maybe I should say I'd rather my savings were being looked after by an averagely bright optimist rather than a super smart pessimist. 
And the reason for that, the reason for that is because the optimist has on his or her side, the optimist has history on their side. Pessimists are playing a losing game because stock markets do and will go up in the long term. So from my point of view, you know, let me just put some intensifiers around this rather than facts. I am, we are at Linsell Train, extremely optimistic about the outlook for global equity markets. We're even more optimistic about the prospects for the companies that we're invested in on behalf of our clients. And that makes us kind of super duper <laughs> optimistic about the outlook, about the outlook for this fund. So I have established, I hope, that we are optimistic. I think you and the viewers have got to judge, are we stupid enough or averagely bright enough to be able to continue to generate acceptable performance? I hope we do. Nick, an awful lot to think about there. Thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure.